Hello and welcome, I'm Precious Red and you're watching Entertainment and Lifestyle with Red. Please subscribe, like and share. Today we're going to be talking about the Two-Face and Annie Dibia saga. I woke up in the morning and I heard the news that Annie posted some things on Instagram calling out her husband Two-Face Idibia about a Disney trip he had with his kids and Pero, one of his baby mamas. And Annie said that Two-Face slept under the same roof with Pero and she wasn't having it and she talked about how his family doesn't like her. She said she's not the fact that she's quiet doesn't mean she's stupid the fact is that, that she's patient that all she has done is to portray him in a good way and all that and she really sounded oh, emotional really. about the whole thing and you know i was i was i was a bit shocked because you know two faces and annie debia they're like a power couple we've loved them since time immemorial i mean since african queen days is when they were dating since two face had all his baby mamas and you know they finally got married and everybody was so excited and happy for them and now we're hearing that it's like this it's like this problem in paradise and it was really surprising and when i heard the news i was like with the way you know pero has you know been in this um whole two-face any issue like is she the other wife is she a wife or is she a baby mama and i wasn't sure if you know any coming onto social media to talk about this I, I wasn't sure if it was the right move you know i wasn't because you know you no matter if you bring problem to social media it can escalate or it it can you know really spoil things for you but i i feel like annie had had it up to here because she seems like a really patient person here and she had to sorrow so okay so uh i kind of like understand why she did that but two faces brother charles edibia made a post calling out annie saying that annie is the issue that it's because annie did not have her way that's why she's you know talking that she's talking about a, um, an incident that happened pre-covid 19 and that's what she's bringing up now insinuated that she was on drugs you know you also said that um annie's mom uses juju uses jazz that means she uses charms it just made us realize that probably annie yeah, and two faces family are not on very good terms <sighs> it was sad to watch and it felt like there was a whole lot to talk, talk about, about because it. he was like should we bring it to the open that should he talk and, say, and i was like ah hey god no this thing was ah no 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 five that lot they control you know a little backstory two face has two baby mamas and he is married to annie pero adini is his first baby mama and she has three kids for two face while Sumba has two kids and Annie has two kids for Two Face Edibia. Annie also said that the baby mamas are using their kids to get Two Face's attention and to do all sorts of nonsense. Speaking of Pero, an old video has resurfaced and it shows Pero's father, father, Chief GD Adeniye, saying that Two Face and Pero are married. Bust my brain! Because when i heard that news when i woke up and i heard that news about annie's posting all she posted and all that i asked uh, I, the question i asked was like is Pero a baby mama or is she a wife because you know the, the, the it is the confidence for me it is the you know just it is the confidence for me i mean the audacity for me she's very audacious so I was like, is she a wife or is she, is she, is she a baby mama? I mean, we, we need to be clear. Then, lo and behold, this video comes and it shows Pero's father saying that Two Face and Pero are married. This interview was done in 2019. Nigerians now, like, you matter on social media. Nigerians will not disappoint. They will judge a matter with the utmost seriousness. There were various so, reactions from those who believe that you should never bring your personal life to social media because social media will never fix your matter. It will only make it worse. To those saying that I'm a baby girl sorrow so okay. Speak your truth. Personally, what I feel or what I've learned is that your love should not be blind though. No matter how much you're in love with a man 
and you know you don't have the energy you don't have the power to handle baby mama issues and he already has baby mamas do not marry that man because a baby mama will always be part of a man's mama, life the baby mama will always be part of your marriage there is nothing you can do about that as long as another woman has a kid or kids for your husband she's part of your family so that woman has your husband in her hands because you know any complain about the fact that the baby mamas are using the kids to you know do a lot of things the baby mama can say that oh um your son needs this 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 and you have to be there and if you have to be there i also have to be there with my son i mean will you stop your husband from going to see his children you cannot stop him from going to see his children he has to go no matter how much it breaks your heart and you know that the other woman will be there and you know that the other woman is is crazy yeah you know the other woman is crazy you know the other woman go send she doesn't send anybody you know she, she doesn't send anybody and you have to release him and it's gonna break your heart you're gonna be miserable you're gonna be unhappy if you cannot handle it so if you have a man that you know you're in love with a man and he has a baby mama hunty think about it very well are you sure it's something you want to do do you have the power do you have the energy do you are you because me i don't i, I don't like stress i do not like stress in my life i cannot be fighting i cannot my heart cannot be breaking every minute do you understand so you have a baby mama i'm sorry i cannot do it i cannot do it except okay maybe the baby, i don't even know if there's except but it's also better if the baby mama is probably married but if the woman is single she's single she now doesn't just have one she has like three or maybe like five <laughs> but your husband forget about it you all are in a relationship you all are married together if you cannot handle the heat stay out of the kitchen do not enter that kitchen secondly i also believe that eh, not, eh, there is nothing like a man eh, that respects you that respects boundaries a man that um how do i put it a man that a man of his word a man that can make things happen a man that ah a man that is intentional that is the word because i believe that even if he has 10 baby mamas and he has a wife he should create boundaries he should create boundaries in his relationships with those women make them understand that okay oh, when it comes to this line you cannot cross it and if you cross it there will be consequences we should be and the wife will even be more comfortable like i'm not the only one carrying this whole thing on my head i'm not the only one being patient i'm not the only one no but you know my patience and everything is worth it because she knows that this man got her back i don't know them personally but i just believe that set boundaries boundaries are really really super important even if you have 10 million baby mamas thirdly hmm as an African, eh? as an African woman, as an African man, you're not just marrying one person, you are marrying a whole family. You are going into another family, especially as women, you are entering a new family. And if that family does not like you, ha, it might make things difficult for you. So if a family doesn't like you for whatever reason, I will not advise you. I, I'm not going to advise anybody because, you know, you, you you can decide whatever you want to do but if you find if you're entering a family that loves you eh you don't know what god has done for you in your in your life a family that cherishes you and loves you your marriage will be blissful even if your husband does any out you have a family to report them to they have your back not that okay oh, the son is doing any out the family too is doing any out because you won't be completely happy i mean will you will you stop your your husband from entertaining his family members from his family members coming into your home you know at some point when you guys go on occasions they are against you you know so it's not a very good thing so having a family entering a family that loves you is amazing it's a great feeling it's a blessing in africa because you don't just marry one person you marry you marry the whole clan <laughs> also i've learned although 
we all, we all know this, but you know, we've been reminded that no relationship is perfect, no marriage is perfect. So we shouldn't compare our relationships or our marriages with any with what we think or the idea of another person's relationship or marriage because we really do not know what's going on in there. They will not come and tell you they are until you know Casala's boss like Annie and um, Two Face now. You know we're all like oh, oh 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 my God God man couple girls oh gosh God bless me with a man like Two Face you know okay not really but okay I don't think anybody wants him really wants a man like Two Face <laughs> Two Face. <laughs> You know, nobody really, you know, woman intentionally wants a man that has many baby mamas, you know, like two or more, even one. You know, but we admired your relationship. Not all that glitters is gold. A lot of things are going are going on underneath, but you don't just, you don't come online to about your problems. You come online to share your joy. So, no matter what you are going through in your own relationship, don't compare yourself to another person because, because you might actually be better off than them. So, we've come to the end of the show and I hope and I pray that Two Face and Annie would resolve their issues. Two Face's family and Annie would resolve their issues because it's not just Two Face and Annie. Everybody needs to resolve their issues. I wish them all the best and I hope their marriage survives whatever this is whatever this is and my heart goes out to annie i don't know what she's going through but she must have had it up to here for her to have come out to you know say all these things anyways so what do you guys think do you think annie was right to have come out to talk about it do you think there is something we do not know about can you be with a man that has several baby mamas like two face and what do you think about clara <laughs> Do you think they are really married? Because I mean, Bero's father said they are married. So, so what do you think? So that's it on the show today. Please subscribe, like, and share. I'm Fresh's Red. See you next time.